What's up everybody, this is Harry, and I'm up to the third step in my dome building method test project that I'm doing here. So the first step was to mount the air form to the ground. After it's mounted to the ground and I inflated it with air, the second step was to spray a uh, primer releasing agent to the entire dome air form. The third step is what I'm up to now. I'm spraying, I'm trying to get about a quarter inch of cement along the entire dome. So the cement that I'm using now is a mix of, uh, I'm actually using a half a bag of cement. So I'm using about 42 pounds of cement mixed with um, 75 pounds of sand. So I have a cement sand mix, and along with that is a basalt fiber chalk. You'll see that process in my next batch. So here I was just trying to get an idea of how far I can get with a half a bag of cement. So as you see here, I started here, my first spray was at the bottom, and I, and I worked a ring all the way around to the front door. And then if you walk along this side here, You'll see I got this whole side here sprayed. So I was able to get all this sprayed and I still have cement left in the barrel. So this is the process I'm using. So I have this uh, this is a three nozzle, three jet sprayer. So you pour your cement in here, and this is under air pressure. So when I hit that nozzle, it'll blast air pressure and spit the cement out. So you'll see that process right now. uses the cement there pretty quick so there's a lot of refilling to be done here Okay, so that's pretty much the process I'm doing now. So I'll be spraying that all the way around the dome. And um, once that 
once this part sets, once it cures, what will happen next is I'll be making um, spacers made of aircrete. And I'll be gluing those spacers onto the dome all the way around. And the purpose of the spacers is to keep the other process from slumping to one side, which is to put a second air form over this entire first structure I'm building and um, bolt it to the ground and then fill in the cavity that's going to be made. Fill in the cavity that's going to be made here with aircrete. It'll go all the way around the entire dome. And the aircrete, about six to eight inches, will give the insulation uh, needed for the home for winter and summer. Um, and that is eliminating, you know, um, spray foam, uh, spray foam insulation and fiberglass insulation and all of those things. Uh, instead, you can have an air creep, which is, uh, this is a test that I did before. It's very light and it's insulative. Uh, heat won't pass and cold doesn't pass through. So anyway, that's what's happening. Stay tuned for some new videos coming up next.